the Liberty Wrestling team recently hosted this year's Mid-Atlantic Conference Championships. After the Flames won the National Duels Championships early in the year, they were looking to carry that momentum into the event. And the Flames were able to do just that as they would have 10 conference championship finalists, which turned into seven conference champions, and propel Liberty to defend their title and once again win the Mid-Atlantic Conference Championships. It was, it was a blast to go out to Vegas with the team and hang out. Um, and the bonding experience that we had was invaluable. And I think that kind of helps us to, uh, the season kind of, kind of flows together more and it's more connected when you're having fun with the people that you're with and you don't burn out as easily. Because I've been on teams in the past where you get to the end of the year and everyone starts to burn out. But uh, with this team, since there was so much cohesion, especially with the trip out to Vegas, um, we just aren't burned out. We're still having fun, still loving being together. And that continued over and helped us wrestle well in the conference tournament. We were still working just as hard and having as much fun as we were at the beginning of the year. Well, I think a lot of the success that the guys had at conference, you know, comes off of the season that they've had, you know, all year. They are put through the ringer and are tested and, and you know, honestly wrestle the best competition in the country. Where I, f I think a lot of the other teams in the, the NCWA don't necessarily test themselves as much. Um, you know, we go out and, and look for, you know, out, out of division competition and, and the toughest guys we can just so, you know, we're prepared when we get to the conference tournament. You know, we're not going to wrestle anybody that we haven't, you know, wrestled before as far as that level of competition. So, you know, I just think the guys are, you know, have been, uh, you know, tested and been, you know, been through the ringer and, and are, you know, ready to, you know, ready to go out and, and NCWA competition is just not as tough as as uh, the other competition may wrestle. With the team's win, it gives the Flames their eighth consecutive conference championship, and this was the Flames' tightest race to the title to date. The conference was, it was tough. I mean, it was the closest it's ever been, you know, and, and every single time we wrestle Apprentice, it's going to be, you know, razor thin. Um, but, I mean, everyone stepped up and, and played their part, you know. Even the guys who may not have been, you know, the point scorers were stepping up and wrestling well. And, and even that, you know, helps me when I see guys out there you know, winning matches and it's like, okay, well, this guy might not be the point scorer. He might not be in the finals, but you know, he's beating kids out here. So that like helps me as a starter to be like, all right, I'm going to wrestle well. I'm going to step up. You know, even as a leader, I see other guys, you know, younger guys step up and play their part and then they're winning matches. And then it fuels me to like, okay, I, it's my turn. You know, it's my job to step up and win these matches. Uh, we had a lot of really solid individual performances. A lot of guys really rose to the occasion. Um, Andrew Burgett beat a national finalist last year. That was a huge match. Um, and a lot of guys are really starting to come into their own at this point in the season. And so it was fun to see that kind of all come together out on the mat and they're able to come away with the victory. With Nationals only a week away, the team is in final preparations to defend their crown with its 15 national qualifiers. Now I feel like this whole entire year with the Apprentice School, we've just had this big target on our back. You know, we're the national champions. Um, you know, we have everything to lose essentially and, and you know, other teams have nothing to lose. And so I feel like teams come after us harder, especially the Apprentice School. Um, and so, you know, I feel like that, you know, helps motivate the guys a little bit when they know like, you know, we're not just wrestling a regular opponent, we're wrestling somebody who wants to, you know, really take it to us. You know, somebody who there's a little bit of bad blood there, you know, as far as competition. Our guys are going to be focused on, you know, winning those small little battles inside matches, which in turn is going to be them winning matches and scoring points or stopping guys from scoring points. And then also like picking up bonus points is huge. Uh, one thing Apprentice did really well at conference was they picked up a lot of bonus points, which is why it was so close. But I think, you know, our guys are going to be doing the same thing at Nationals, you know. Everyone needs to step it up. If you're one point away from picking up a major, then you got to fight for that major. If you're one point away from a tech, you got to fight for that tech. If you put somebody on their back, put them away, because, like, that's huge. If you pin someone, that's two extra team points compared to if you didn't, that's, you know. So I think that's going to be, be the difference makers, bonus points.